Fairness means we are all treated the same. Specifically, everyone should get the same tax relief for the purchase of private health insurance, regardless of where it is obtained, through an employer, in a health insurance exchange, or in the marketplace. Most people who purchase private health insurance today benefit from federal tax preferences that total about $300 billion a year. Yet the system is completely arbitrary and unfair. The amount of tax subsidy any particular individual receives depends upon whether the insurance is obtained through an employer, what options the employer offers, the family's tax bracket, and other factors. Under Obamacare, taxes and spending subsidies for private health insurance will become even more arbitrary and unfair. For example, a family earning just over $30,000 a year will get no additional tax relief for employer-provided insurance. Yet the government will pay as much as 95% of the premium if the family gets insurance through a health insurance exchange. If the family qualifies for Medicaid, the government will pay 100% of the cost. Families at the same income level can receive subsidies that differ by up to $20,000. There's a better way. Suppose the government offered every individual a uniform, fixed dollar subsidy for the purchase of health insurance. Say $2,500 for every adult and $1,500 for every child. A two adult, two child family would get $8,000. The credit would be refundable so that it would be available even to those with no tax liability. People would get this subsidy as long as they obtain credible private health insurance, no matter where they obtain it, at work, in the marketplace or in an exchange. Every dollar spent on additional insurance would be an unsubsidized dollar, a dollar that would otherwise be take-home pay. With a uniform tax credit, 90% of the problems the Obamacare exchanges are now having would go away in a flash. Signing up for insurance would be easy. Insurance companies and brokers would be able to sign people up outside of the exchanges without asking privacy-invading questions about your income and your assets. If an individual chooses to be uninsured, the unclaimed tax credit would be sent to a safety net agency in the community where the person lives in case he generates medical bills he cannot pay from his own resources. Where would the federal government get the money to fund this proposal? We would begin with the $300 billion in tax subsidies the government already spends to subsidize private insurance. Add to that the money the federal, state, and local governments already spend on Medicaid and other indigent care programs. 